Instagram is trying to fail me. So let's try to make this one interesting. Because the last one, the last one was boring. I was catching my breath because I just woken up. I just washed my face. I just washed my face and uh yeah, I was not prepared. So I want to talk about like college dropout. I really, I really, hey, hey. <laughs> I say, I want to start on a high note and I'm shrubbing like crazy. So I want to talk about dropping out of college. That's something that has been on my mind. Like every time, I already said that. Like every time, heads towards exams, is when like I realize I need to work hard. I need to be a funny motherfucker. Yeah, I need to be a funny motherfucker. Make my way to radio, maybe. Or maybe make a big podcast, grow my podcast, grow my YouTube to whatever, so that I get subscribers and quit school. So when it is heading exams, like tomorrow, tomorrow I have exams. I have an exam, I have a car tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. And I've already like, I'm sure I've already failed the past one, the past cuts I've done. <laughs> so I have between now and September to like figure this shit out, to gain some traction, bro. Because if I don't gain traction between now and September, my life is going to be fucked up because I'll, I'll have failed my exams, so I'll have to recheck my exams. I'll probably have to recheck the whole semester. It should be crazy. So, Patrice O'Neill talked about, like, uh, this, doing comedy, is a leap of faith. You keep on falling. Yeah, you take the leap and you keep on falling. You can reach a place... Like, uh, play it safe and go take a job, be a teacher, work in the supermarket, work in Walmart. I like, there's no Walmart in Kenya. The information, you didn't know. So, I really want to quit. Like, that's something that is on, has been on my mind. Like, I remember, I remember making a video, like, was it last year before I joined uni? I told myself, like, by the second year of uni, I should have called, I should have dropped out. I should have dropped out. Yeah, because I'm struggling, man. I'm struggling to study. I'm struggling to do all shit. I'm struggling to read this shit because I just feel like uh, it's not important. Also, today I realized like Andrew Kibe did computer science, which is the same thing I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, and I look up to him. I look up to him in terms of like, I wanna be a funny motherfucker. I wanna do stand up comedy. Yeah, but also I love to do a podcast because that's how. Startup comedians gain money. They gain money from doing podcasts, doing YouTube. That is what he's doing. And I want to do the same thing. Yeah. One of the other reasons I want to quit you is because every successful every successful person, yeah, from like Jeff Bezos, I think, Jeff Bezos, I don't know. But what I know is like uh, Kanye West dropped out. as a whole album about dropping out of school. The college drop off, the college dropout. Elon Musk dropped out of school. Same thing. So all the great people, the outliers, have dropped out of school. And I wanna do the same. I wanna... Okay. Apparently, I wanna be like one of them. Not like be a billionaire. I used to have that dream that I'm, I was gonna be a billionaire by working hard, by reading hard. <laughs> I was gonna be a billionaire. I remember reading financial books, all that shit. Yeah, thinking I was gonna be a billionaire at one point. Oh. I remember thinking I was going to be like the next richest, the the next youngest richest motherfucker, something of the sort. So I had to get like to a billion dollars before my twenty first birthday. It's just kind of crazy, yeah. Like I don't know why I used to think like that. Like what makes me special? What makes me special? I think I can be a billionaire by twenty one. Before 21. Because the youngest billionaire, I think, is Kylie Jenner, I think. Yeah, she was a billionaire at 21. So, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll become a funny motherfucker. Maybe I'll design some shit. Yeah, that's how I used to think. I'm going to design some shit, some software, some app. Then it's going to make me a billionaire. Be the youngest billionaire. And then I've come to realize, like, there's so many smart people. I, I guess there's so many smart people, like, in terms of, like, having information on their heads. There's so many people, so many people, like, uh, there's so many people, like, uh, who are smart, smarter than me, who know more shit than me. 
Well, I don't know what's going to make me different. So the other thing is like, um, if I don't quit college, if I take like four years, spend four years in college, like study, yeah, work hard, get the grades and shit, get my degree. I get my degree. So after four years, I don't think about like being a funny motherfucker. I will have like grown older. I'll be like 23 or something. And all I'll be thinking about like is about getting a job and getting money. I don't have time to spend, to think about myself and uh, my dreams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember like uh, back in high school, I was fucking convinced that I was going to quit high school. I remember making, uh, if you go check out my other channel, it's called like uh, Real Collins. You can see like the intro. I remember making an intro saying something like, uh, "Let me play, let me play." It was fucking interesting. I was saying something about like dropping out, and I remember my friends came to find out about my YouTube channel. They are like, "When did this motherfucker like drop out of school?" Because the intro was saying that like uh, that I dropped out of school. Just listen, listen to this shit. Listen. It feels kind of a poem or something. I wasn't a hell of a student. I dropped out because this has never happened to me. If I don't say this word again, who else would do it? This is my motherfucking world. Welcome to it. I was listening to a lot of like Hopsin, which is kind of awkward because those are like the corny, the corny rappers. I've come to realize that like, I do listen to them. I used to listen to corny rappers. Nah, uh, I realized I was getting fucking depressed or something just to listen to hopsin just to listen to nf i also listen to koday yeah why being koday yeah those are like uh the corny the corny rappers people call them coin i used to like them i realized like hmm why do i like these motherfuckers because these motherfuckers are into like that religion shit like they want to talk about religion like hopsin <laughs> Obviously, I was all music, whatever. Where he talks about like uh, God, like why, why, why is this happening to me? Oh, okay, let me talk about call dropping out of college. Like, let's listen to that again. This is fucking pure poetry. I hell of a student. I don't talk because this has never happened to me. But don't say this again. Worse to it. This is my motherfucking world. Welcome to it, bro. I told you I wanted to do. I wanted to rap. Not rap, but I want to make music at one point. I don't know. I don't know if that will happen. Oh, so talking about music, Travis Scott also dropped out of school. Yeah, she was down. She was down with me when I dropped out of college. That kind of shit. <laughs> so all the great people, all the people that I look up to dropped out of college. Yeah. Also, so like uh, all the people. Okay, so not, not all of the people. Look, some of the people, even my uncle did like the IT shit. That's also like related to computer. Yeah, there's no job. He has no job. So, what's gonna make me different? I remember when I was choosing this. When I was choosing this course. I remember my my mom, all my relatives telling me about like how. There's some motherfuckers who've done the exact same thing. The computer science shit. They're fucking employed. They went they came back home because there's no employment for them. Yeah. I also feel like I'm a special motherfucker. So uh, I also say something like uh maybe for them they are not learning hmm? <laughs> they, they not learn, learn like the the marketable shit. They they not spend time to learn Python, yeah, the coding shit. So I also think I was gonna be special. But so far, what I've realized is like, uh, I don't know. I don't know anything. Yeah. You already done like uh, the pro all the problems, like four programming languages. And I don't know any of them. So I'm going to end up like this motherfuckers. Like no nothing's going to make me special. So. I don't know. But that high school shit was good. Like if I, if I dropped out of high school. Bro. Oh. <laughs> I'm a fucking 
forth. So I don't know. I think I've ran out of points. 10 minutes in. That will have made like a dope like new YouTube video. A 10 minute video. And that's not enough bro. So also. Oh yeah, I've already talked about that. Like when it heads towards like exams. Is when I realized like college just come. Because <laughs> the other day is like uh I've been in school for like uh, four fucking months. The first month, we never studied. Like, nobody went to class. Even the lectures never came about. Yeah. Never came to school. So, it was into like uh, one month into into the semester is when we started studying. We've studied for like uh, a one and a half month. So now we're doing exams. You guys spent like, uh, I think, a half a month doing exams. And that's how the semester ended. One thing I don't want to do is regret, yeah, because I've seen some motherfuckers, I've heard stories about motherfuckers who dropped out of college. <laughs> I, I, I remember saying something like this, like, uh, so this motherfuckers dropped out and hmm, came back some years later, they are fucking older. And uh, I was saying something like, uh, for them they are not funny. So I said something also, like, uh, I see most of the people drop out, like, drop out to go get a job. They drop out because they got a job and then after some time, they lose the job. They have to, like, uh, come back to college or something. I don't know. I'm just fucking confused about this whole shit. If I survive through this semester, <laughs> that'd be dope. Yeah. I don't know. College, college. <sighs> so I've ran out of shit to talk about already. Let me see. Let, let me go through the internet. Why you should uh, why you should drop out of drop why you should drop out of college. Then I should I will go through like why you should not drop out of college. Drop Dropping out of college can tank your career prospects. Adults without a college degree earn about like thirty thousand dollars less per year than college graduates. In twenty eighteen, the unemployment rate for high school graduates who dropped out of college was eighteen point six percent. Many students enroll in college to get higher paying jobs. Yeah, but for me, I, I don't wanna get employed. And that comes back to like uh, that's it. What makes me special? It uh. I don't want to get employed. <laughs> uh, so if you drop drop out early in the semester, the school will return some of the money you owe less on your loan. However, you may still owe tuition fees for the remainder of the academic year. If you receive any scholarships or grant, you also have to pay some of, the, of that money. Also, that is one of the problems like I have at the moment. Because my parents, I've gone through a lot of trouble to, like... Uh, yeah, pay for the college, whatever, even back in high school. Yeah, they've spent some money. They've spent a lot of money. Yeah, to give me an education. That can she. So what if I tried being a funny motherfucker and I, it doesn't work out? Because what also makes me special that uh, if I'm going to try to be a funny motherfucker, I'm going to make it. Well, there are so many people who fail. There are so many people who fail in this shit. We try to be funny motherfuckers and people, they never become funny. So, I don't know. 10 signs that you should drop out of college. Your career goal is no longer aligned with the curriculum. The degrees carry no weight in your industry. The program or school is terrible. The school is, a, is causing mental health issues. Oh, yeah, everybody's got to throw that into that. Everybody's got to throw like mental, got to throw like uh, mental health issues. into like schoolwork you're not ready to take college seriously that's me <laughs> your industry is in decline i don't know will i stay in college or drop out okay so this is like uh, the basic like 
everybody. Watch everybody. Watch everybody. We can all agree, like, uh, whatever I'm learning, whatever I'm studying at the moment, isn't going to help me get a job. Yeah, all... Maybe the degree, the degree, like, to show, like, uh, the interview or whatever, to show him, like, yeah, I'm better than the, this other guy because I have a degree, I have a first-class honors. Yeah, maybe that'll give you an advantage. But all the skills that you're gonna need to, like, uh, do the job, the actual job, you're not gonna learn from, you're not gonna learn them from, like, classwork. Because now I'm, I'm, I'm doing calculus. Where the fuck am I gonna calculate? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why I'm gonna use calculus or physics. Yeah, in writing a program. Maybe there is, but I don't think there is. Does life get does life get better than <laughs> does life get better after college? Life does get better of college. Graduating college is merely the beginning of your life. Mm-hmm. And there are many opportunities for you to find success in life after college. I talked about that, like when you when we got into our first class in college, in uni, the professor was like, uh, you know, most of you are not gonna be like computer scientists. Yeah, it was a funny thing. It was a funny thing to like clap. Yeah. So we are we are here to spend the next four years trying to, as we try to figure out what you're going to do. Because I see most of the people, most of the people don't try, don't end up doing like whatever they studied in uni. That's not like what they end up doing for the rest of their lives. Like if somebody is doing like commerce or some statistics bullshit, hmm? is it gonna be a statistics whatever? Maybe it's gonna end up being a businessman. Yeah. Okay, I remember back in high school, I read so much about, like, I watched so many videos about, like, why you should not go to college, all that shit. Let me, let me play you. There's a video that I made that, uh, I never got, like, publish it. I wanted to publish it, like, uh, I wanted to publish it, like, uh, two years from then, when I will have, like, quit uni, quit college. I uh, let me let me just play it. I'm I'm gonna let I'm gonna make it public. Anyway. Where is it? Where is this? Already? Maybe I already like made it public. Just it was called something like two years from now. Two years from now. years from now let me play well you be if I'm making these videos today so that are uh, hey two years from now well you be if I'm making these videos today so that are uh, yeah I have a goal to work towards to so two years from now, where do you expect you to be? I hope you're an asshole, but a fucking funny asshole. Um, I hope you have a girlfriend, bro. If you don't have a girlfriend, you're gay. You're gay, bro. You're, you're gay. Yeah. Hope you're starting to think about like quitting university. Remember, I told you that like uh, I said I'm gonna quit university in the second year. I hope now you're in second year of university. You're planning on quitting because you're seeing some success in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's no success. I hope, um... Okay, so... I made that video, like... My videos, I've been doing this for, like, less than, like, let's say, like, two weeks. And I have a video that has over 60 views. I know that's not a big deal to most of you, but it's a big deal to me. That's why, like, uh... <laughs> After that video, like, uh, started getting views. Okay, people don't actually get to watch it because it's fucking boring. That shit got me thinking, like, what if I work, I work hard on this shit, for, like, for the next, like, uh, let's say one month. Like, just one month. Every day I'm putting out, like, two, not two, like, four or five 
one hour videos they don't, they, might, they may not like be that fucking interesting but i know that somebody will see it and be like like also i saw somebody comment my video i haven't like shown this channel to anyone yeah nobody like uh i haven't put this shit like on people's faces be like and be like subscribe to my shit subscribe to my shit I actually don't want people i know in real life to discover this okay they may know but i don't want them to be like they're liking just because they know me because <laughs> that is what i realized like uh also using my other instagram account people are liking it because yeah i know this motherfucker ah, it sucks but i'm just gonna like it because of i follow him as he gonna think about me yeah yeah so this one i've been told somebody if somebody wants to like uh come listen to my whole shit you gotta come and listen to it if he doesn't I won't force him, but all I want to do is like work with the algorithm, play with the algorithm. Cause posting one hour videos, like two or three hour an hour videos every every day, bro, I'm gonna be like I'm gonna be like getting. The problem is I'm not an interesting dude. If I was a funny motherfucker, bro, and get like <laughs> make one hour videos every day and people discover it, bro. I'll be quitting uni in the next one month or something. I don't know. College. Let me. I, I said I was gonna go through like. Uh, no one cares ab about your GPA after college. We all discovered that like once we join uni. <laughs> Nobody cares what what GPA or. Okay, I guess that is like in the in the states they call it GPA. You can call it grade. <laughs> nobody cares about your grades after your high school grades nobody cares you used to be told that back in high school that uh bro if you don't work from like form one to form four yeah your, your transcript whatever is needed whatever and you finish high school now nobody cares what you got in high school as long as you're in uni the same way if, when you finish college is when actually life starts and that's why like uh i don't know Life after college isn't easy, but it's but it it isn't like uh, impossible either. All the things like I'm worried about, like if I decide to drop out now, is that I want to get like uh, I don't get money from my parents. I'm I'm pretty sure about that. Like once I decide to be a rebel, whatever, and go, yeah, I'll be cut off. I will not be receiving money from my parents. The other thing is like uh, everybody's gonna turn, everybody's gonna become a psychologist, psychiatrist, whatever. Everybody will try to like advise me about like why I should not drop out, why I should do this, why I should do that. Yeah. My 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 goal was to like uh start doing something. Like I work hard on this shit and show them like mom, uncle, whatever, relative. Yeah, you see, I'm working hard on this shit. And this shit has the possibility of making me more money that I will, than I would have made if I like uh, stayed in college for the next four years. Yeah. Just want to be develop an argument or whatever. Yeah. Make valid points. Because when I have like zero, like at the moment I have one subscriber. <laughs> Which is funny as fuck. It is my own subscriber. Like I'm the one who's always subscribed to my own channel, so I have one subscriber, which is me. Yeah, if I go show that to my parents, like, mom, see, I'm gonna make money off this shit, and I have one subscriber. Ah, this girl think I'm going mad. She's gonna think I'm going mad. Money buys you happiness and comfort. No one cares about your GP after high school. You lose touch with your friends. You'll always feel behind. You'll always feel behind. It's okay not to love. Okay. Yeah. Just some boring shit. Like, say, say something crazy. Eight things to consider before dropping out of college. Yeah, college dropout. Maybe they will <laughs> get abused because... I know. Most people who are in uni... Also wanna drop out.
but uh, you don't have something to fall back on. That's why that's why I'm working hard on this shit. Today I'm gonna upload like four or five five videos because I don't work hard on this shit. I don't have something to fall back on. Like if again, let me put a target: gain a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. Not like people I know in real life, people I don't know. So I'll have to like. Uh, <laughs> I love to be a funny motherfucker and work hard enough to get some white people or some people from somewhere subscribe to my shit. So eight reasons, eight things to consider before you drop out of school. Many successful, many successful college grads will tell you that their experience was either very important for their personal and professional development or that four years in college was a, felt like a total waste, which is what I feel. Huh? I feel like this is a waste of time, like I've wasted the whole year so far. Many young people find themselves in a very difficult position after dropping out of college. They don't want to be one of them. As per college at last, about 70% of women accounts enroll in a four-year college. Less than two-thirds actually graduate with a degree. Which is actually true. <laughs> yeah, like, the other time I was talking to my friend, and I, talking, I was talking about, like, in America, they have better opportunities. Then I was reading statistics, I realized, like, most people drop out of college, not even college, people drop out, most people drop out of like high school, mostly black people in America drop out of high school, <laughs> the same thing in Kenya, I told you that uh, the kind of image that comes out of America is that it is this great nation, which it is, like uh, it has good roads, that it has good healthcare, but people are fucking assholes the same way, hmm? Yeah, the same motherfuckers, they're the same assholes, like over there, over here with the same motherfuckers. I think the same. Kinda, I think so. However, I just mentioned the graduation rate is not as high. Yeah, I told you that story about like how in our first class in college, the professor was like, uh, you know, most of you are not gonna make it like uh, out of college, most of you are not gonna be like, yeah, computer scientist, computer scientist. Financial problems, okay. Poor academic preparation, okay. Not sure about your daddy's issue, okay. So these are not like these are not like interesting. Like uh, take a closer look at the above reasons. In some cases, dropping out of college is the best thing to do for a sustainable life. This can also lead a uh, student chasing their passion, and making most of their lives, which is what I wanna do. Yeah. So in the end. Entirely depends on what our students plans to do after dropping out of college. You see? So that's where the problem is. For me, I wanna be a funny motherfucker. I'm interested in fashion. I wanna design shit. I wanna do graphics design. I wanna paint. <laughs> I have like 10,000 shits to do. I feel like going to class is kind of wasting my time. I don't know. And then they have a picture of Mark Zuckerberg. When he was still in college, Harvard. Wearing a Harvard hoodie. Hmm? That's the problem. Like, uh, most people like uh, think like me. I told you, like, I wanna be like one of the outliers. That is one of the reasons I wanna drop out of college because all the great, all the great people, hmm? people I look up to, most of them are dropped out of college. But the likelihood that I'm gonna be one of those successful at Fuckers, motherfuckers. I don't know about that. Consequences of dropping out of college. Dropping out of college doesn't just impact students. It is also their families that have to face the consequences. That is one of the problems I have. Yeah. Some of the most common end results is one sees of dropping out of college are facing the social stigma of not completing education. Which is one of the biggest reasons I'm not like, uh, yeah. I don't do this shit, but uh, what will my relatives think about me? What will my mom think about me? I'll, be, I'll, I'll get cut off. 
then everybody will become a psychiatrist, psychologist, mm, mental health. <laughs> Some students also see your job opportunities. So these motherfuckers are dropping out, but <laughs> they're not as funny as me. That is one of the excuses I had. Because most of the people, some of the people drop out, end up coming back to college. Not an excuse that are, they're not funny as me. I'm not, I'm not that funny. Okay, I don't know. If I drop out of college, can I go back? A lot of college allow dropouts to come back without reapplying. Plus, they also have academic forgiveness program that wipes out the bad grades that students may have during the previous thing. As some situations, college dropouts may be required to go through the admissions and enrollment process again. And also have to overcome challenges as a result of their poor grades before dropping out. You are considered dropping out by returning it when you are. Ask the council of the post. It's also a good idea to keep all the information hard when you say you go back and say you agree. I don't know. Mm. I see some white people. I see some white people like uh, some of them like Dev Chappell never went to college. Yeah. And the parents were like supportive. Bill Burr, also a comedian. He dropped out of college and See, like white white parents are kind of kind of dope. Yeah, they supported him. They never told him like, uh, "Hey, you have been trying this shit for like the past five years. Don't you see like uh, it's time for you to get like a a sales job or whatever." <laughs> uh, if you're midway a semester, midway through a semester, it's a good idea to consider finishing the semester since you're most likely already paid for the semester. I've gone through most of the classes. Completing it only makes sense. And that seemed like a stretch. I train drop. And that's one of the, the, the... Okay, so I got disconnected or something. That's one of the other problem I have. What if I become a lazy motherfucker? <laughs> ah, I fail my exams and shit. And then the next like few months and don't gain traction. Maybe I become a lazy motherfucker again. I don't gain traction. I don't become a funny motherfucker, then I have to come back to college again. Then what happens? I love to do, uh, I love to retake the exams and shit, which is something I'll not want to do. Hmm? So unless I work fucking hard, huh? unless I work fucking hard, I'll just have to come back to this shit. Yeah. So that means I'll have to work harder than what I'm actually doing in college because college feels like a waste of time. I have to spend that time like being a funny motherfucker, which is not easy. <sighs> I've been rambling. I've not made a point so far. But I'm a pussy. Yeah, I'm a pussy. I'm a pussy. That's why I haven't. Okay, my phone's good. So I think that would be enough, like 34 minutes. I'm not saying anything, man. My phone is about to switch off. Only has 5% of juice. Let me let me listen to a video. Let me listen to a video. Let me let me end this video by listening to another video. About how why some motherfucker dropped out of college. I don't, I don't They're know this. Supporting you, not going to college. They at first, like they always knew I was not the most interested in going to college. I, I talked about it for some time. I said, you know, I want to do the whole entrepreneurship thing. I right. want to make my own business, make money online. Right. But they weren't fully supportive because they were. With the stigma that, you know, oh, it's so important to go to college. It's so important to get your degree, and that's the only way you'll be successful. I understand. I'll, I've been there, too. I, I get it. <laughs> so, why did you drop out of college? Well, when I dropped out of college, I was going to Douglas College at the time, right? So, it's a funny thing. So, there was this particular professor that he just hates like that. Okay, Because at the time, I was already starting, like, all kinds of businesses. 
at a young age, right? And I would always argue with the with the professor, like what's because I he, he has never started a business and it was teaching this business class, so it was teaching from textbooks. And I was always challenging him. Like, that's not right or that that's not true. And he would be like all pissed off, and it's like, no, you don't know what you're talking about. I said, I do know what I'm talking about. Although at the time I've already started, like this, this my business weren't successful, but I was getting experience. So that's one problem. So he was basically like failing my grades, all all kinds of stuff. So I hated going to his class. That's number one. The second thing is, uh, I was trying to do this all this side hustle in school. So I was now I didn't have a whole lot of money, right? So I was paying some of these kids uh, to do my homework. Because I didn't want to waste time, I wanted to be making money. So they would be so afraid to go like talk to girls, because they're dirty kind of kids, right? So in cafe, in like cafeteria and stuff, I would go there. Hey, you know what? You know, do my assignment. I'm I'm gonna get you the phone number, right? So I would go to I would go talk to the girls. I would say, hey, that guy there, he wants to meet with you and all that stuff. I want to go on date and all that. And I would kind of sell them, and and they would give me the phone number. I would, I would take it back to the the nerdy guys. And they're like, oh my God, how the hell do you do this, man? And so I get a lot of my homework done through that, right? So now, in, in, <laughs> now, in the school world, it's called cheating. But in the business, it's called entrepreneurship. That's, that's the teamwork, right? Delegation. It's delegation, right? But the third thing is, when I wanted to drop out, my mom actually had uh, what I call the uh, incident where... I told my mom that I'm halfway. I said, I'm not, I'm not going to university. I'm going to drop down. I'm going to start my own business. I don't want to waste my time and things like that. And then she's like, okay, we'll, we'll talk about this on, on Sunday. She invited me to have dim sum. Mm-hmm. And she brought me back to town. There's a dim sum restaurant, right? And I showed up. I thought it was me and my mom. I showed up. There's this big round table with all my, like all her friends and my relatives. It's like, I called it the, the dim sum ambush, right? <laughs> it's me and like me and like nine of them. Like, Two of them. I'm like, okay, what is this? And my mom, she's like, have a tea, you know? <laughs> have some tea, right? Have some fucking tea. And my mom was basically <laughs> wanting them to convince me to do something. Right? Why did you need to have a, a safety net? Why you must go to college? You know, as, as a Chinese, that's why why I we immigrated to Canada so you can have a good education. And she was telling all that, and they all okay. So this motherfucker has uh, has more four million subscribers, and I'm sure all he does is advise people, <laughs> advise people on how to start businesses. Businesses. I remember reading the Rich Dad Poor Dad book. I think I'm sure he talked about something about college. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure he talked about something about like college, college is a waste of time. And that motherfucker also talks about as he called. Robert Kiyosaki, something like that. Talks about like how college is a scam. I, I'm sure he talks about something of the sort. He talks about money and she. I don't know. <laughs> okay, maybe they have businesses or something. But I'm sure a lot of a lot of their money also comes from this advising shit, advising people. Advising people to drop out of college, do this, talking about money, finances and shit. I don't know if I should listen to these motherfuckers because I don't, know. I don't advise people because nowadays I see everybody. Everybody who starts a YouTube channel, yeah, starts advising people how to how, how to start your YouTube channel and you're starting like <laughs> Yeah, just tell people your experience about starting. Not like advising people how to set a YouTube channel. I don't know. I was also like, uh, there was a time I was invested into like the motivation. Yeah. Hmm. But now all I care is about stories and shit. I don't care. And this motherfucker, I'm sure if I start listening to this motherfucker, I'll get addicted. Like just the fantasy. The fantasy of like um, making it. Of dropping out of college. Hmm. And being a successful businessman. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna watch like his all videos. I remember watching Robert Kiyosaki's video. I watched like I'm sure I watched over a thousand videos of his. You know, he's talking about like college money and shit. And then what happened after that? I remain broke. I still have broke motherfucker. Hmm. I quit. I quit college, but I don't have anything to fall back on.
like if now if I was not a talented like musician or whatever, if I knew how to sing really good, I could easily convince my parents to be like, I really wanna concentrate on singing. I wanna concentrate on singing. <laughs> so all I should have been da- doing is like working on being a funny motherfucker. All that time. That is what I should have been working on. So I've listened to this motherfucker tell me about like how college is a scam. I don't know. the problem with nowadays everybody thinks he knows everybody thinks he knows also i'm sure i'm I'm also the same way i also think like i know everything okay (laughs) i listen to this one this is is andrew kibe be like one thing you have to tell yourself every day do you really need a girlfriend in your life do you really need a girlfriend no no i tell you them that shit makes you weak you can get your examples now you have to carry bags running around and calling her my queen. Who's queen? A queen needs a servant, but in this case, guess who is the servant in this case? Why are you calling her my queen? And she's so happy about it. What is servant? Una <laughs> chesu. Oh, man, you are so weak. You are so weak. What the whip for my weak guys? She even makes you give her your phone password. Password yako your sin. It's like it's like a pin your M Pesa or a bank account. She has, she has your phone password. Oh. <laughs> now men listen. Real men don't fall in love. Real men don't fall in love. That's some period. Where where am I with? People they'll come after us. Is back in Kenya. I'm talking about me. Where are my women? Just before I continue, if there are men who have ever hugged each other here, get out of this channel. Get the freak out of this channel. Man and another man should never come in contact. Keep that in mind. Even shaking hands, that is illegal. I'm a local come in Kajo Rossi. When you met a now you're coming to combine and now you're joining. Let us sing together. <laughs> Oh, oh man, you are so weak. Men think they can go past this, but if looking another man in the eye and saying, I love you, bro, you're suspect. Oh, there's no way, bro. There's no <laughs> freaking way. Where am I weak? You are a Kinuthia. Pioneer. When a girl texts you, don't text back. You text back your compromise. Your masculinity is compromised. Replying a girl's text, that is red flag. Your masculinity number one. <laughs> oh man. Now I want a short list. Your lambistic men who we keep celebrating. You need to change your ways if you hear your name. Bahanye. Kabi wa Judas. KRJ the donkey. Wapi whip sake. The Pluto. BTG. How could I forget Erika Amondi? Erika Amondi. Mla Mwa. This I hate when this guy dresses like a woman, running around screaming like a siren in the name of Conte. I'm not going to mention Edgar Obai right now, but we'll come back, back to that later. All in all, marriage is a scam. Marriage will never work. And if you're married, it is not working. You are unhappy. It does not matter how you feel, bro. I'm telling you right now. Now come here, you are unhappy. And you don't know. Think, after reading that linguistic list, <laughs> Acha, producer, you are out of the country. Me, Rudy Holmes. No, they can't get me anywhere. They can't just play, play it, play the damn video. Not nothing to just play the damn video. Mm. All right, I try to sanctify our minds after this lambistic list. I play the video. Can I be that funny? Can I be that funny? Cause I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure also this motherfucker dropped out of college. I know that. Because of the funny motherfucker. Mm. <laughs> uh, I don't know. 
But do I wanna make memes? Do I wanna make memes? Do I wanna make memes? That is what everybody does. Like in Kenya, comedy is about making memes. That's all comedy is. Maybe it's kids, I don't know. Maybe it's kids also also part of comedy. Okay. I don't know. I'm just conflicted. I'm confused. I don't know. I have to do something about like interviewing people on the streets and talking about real issues. Real issues. I don't know what real uh, those real issues are. <laughs> I guess like dropping out of college. College is a scam. That's a real issue. But is that funny? Have I made a joke so far? Uh, have I been lecturing you about like how I wanna blow the out and um, I'm having trouble dropping out? Anyway, whole shit is gonna is gonna be number one. That's that's something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's just something. Whole shit, whole shit, gossip. That's gonna be the number one thing always. Cause that is what people give a fuck about. Out. Key and Peel, Dave Chappelle. Yeah. I don't know. I know I'll, I'll come to look back at this shit in the future. Maybe I'll be regretting. Or maybe... I'll be feeling like I made it, I made the right choice. Yeah. Concentrating on being a vibe motherfucker instead of studying. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I... And that's the thing about the future. Nobody knows what the future holds. Yeah. Maybe God. I don't know. <laughs> so, 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 God is somewhere laughing at me at the moment. Yeah. Look at this dumb motherfucker. I don't know. I don't know. This dumb motherfucker. He's trying to be a funny motherfucker. Doesn't know how life's gotta be. He's gotta suffer, bro. Um, I think that's enough, bro. I don't have anything else to talk about. Um, let me listen to George Carlin. Let me listen to Joe Carlin for the remaining like two minutes. L let me let me. Hi, folks. This is George Carlin. I'm going to read my book to you. Oh, listen. Let's listen for the next ten minutes. For a long so time, I get my stand-up material has drawn from three sources. The first is the English language. You know, words, phrases, sayings, and the ways we speak. The second source, as with most comedians, has been what I think of as the little world. Those things we all experience every day, driving, food, pets, relationships, and idle talk. The third area is what I call the big world, war, politics, race, death, the social issues. So without actually having measured, I would say this book reflects the balance very closely. Now the first two areas in the book... I'd rather listen to a book like this. It's about dumb shit. Okay, he's, he's having an opinion about something. Yeah. Instead of me sitting a whole day studying calculus, which somebody invented in what was it like seventeen, fifteen hundred? Yeah. And that's that's some crazy shit. Like we're saying the same thing like people from eighteen the eighteen hundred are studying, like in terms of math or something. Studying the same thing. And then uh, that guy reminds me, I used to ask the question like are we getting Dharma? Because most of the things that we are doing at the moment, we are studying at the moment, were fucking invented or discovered like, I don't know, 200, 300 years ago, 400 years ago. So aren't we coming up with like better shit, new information that we should be studying? Because this, this thing is obsolete, bro. I don't know. I better listen to such a book. I have a other problem with me, like uh, I just realized, like am I becoming dumber? 
okay myself like am i becoming down because when i was 15 16 17 16 15 16 I had to be a billionaire. That's one thing. <laughs> I had to drop out of high school because I thought I was smart and I knew what I was doing. I was reading a lot of financial books. I was studying so much tech. I remember learning tech shit. But at the moment, I'm struggling to keep up with the class work. Yeah. I don't know what, th what happened in between there. So now, dumb shit is way more interesting to me. I don't know, get some dumb information wrong. Well, I don't know. Let me say a few things. I'm happy to tell you there's very little in this world that I believe in. Listening to the comedians who comment on political, social, and cultural issues, I notice that most of their material reflects kind of an underlying belief that somehow things were better once. Mm. And with just a little effort, we could set them right again. They're looking for solutions and rooting for particular results. And I think that limits the tone and substance of what they say. They're talented and funny people, but they're really nothing more than cheerleaders attached to a specific wished-for outcome. I don't feel so confined. I frankly don't give a fuck how it all turns out in this country, or anywhere else for that matter. Yeah, I talked about like that. I talked about that. I was listening to the Great Pod podcast. It's a Kenya podcast. I then Adi. Not gonna lie, they're nerdy. Like nerds in high school, how used to me and my friends used to talk about like solutions, why they're poor people, why I remember we used to talk about that, like why are they poor people? Yeah, I remember one of, one of the reasons we talked about is like rich people use education to like keep people poor because if you go to college, yeah. All that shit. If you go study, get your degrees or something, it's gonna get you from like being a poor motherfucker, from as they call lower class, middle class, like from poor to middle class. Yeah, it's not gonna take you from like being poor to being rich. It's gonna take you from poor to middle class. Which middle class? It's kind of being poor. And it's only that uh, I don't know. I think the human <sighs> game was up a long time ago when the high priests and traders took over. And now we're just playing out the string. And that is, of course, precisely what I find so amusing. The slow circling of the drain by a once promising species and the sappy, ever more desperate belief in this country that there is actually some sort of an American dream which has merely been misplaced. The decay and disintegration of this culture is astonishingly amusing if you're emotionally detached <laughs> from it. Also... The great part is this motherfucker was talking about like how he has like the revolution whatever in his mind that he's gonna change the world. That's something like uh, I used to have uh, that mentality that uh, hmm? I was gonna be whatever and change the world, change people's minds and shit. But at the moment, I don't care. I don't care where the world ends from. Yeah, I don't care. I, I told you like uh, I'm waiting for Kenya to like uh, end up like Zimbabwe. Yeah, the Kenyan money shilling yeah like I, I can't wait to wipe my ass with like the kenyan notes the kenyan money so i'm not worried i'm not like uh worried that kenya is gonna end up being whatever is it called hyperinflation whatever i don't care hmm? i don't care if people die uh, and i've always viewed it from a safe distance knowing i don't belong doesn't include me, never has. No matter how you care to define it, I do not identify with the local group. Planet, species, race, nation, state, religion, party, union, club, association, neighborhood improvement committee. I have no interest in any of it. I love and treasure individuals as I meet them. I loathe and despise the groups they identify with and belong to. So if you hear something in this book that sounds like advocacy of a particular political point of view, please reject the notion. My interest in issues is merely to point out how badly we're doing, not to suggest a way we might do better. <laughs> Don't confuse me with those who cling to hope. I enjoy describing how things are. I have no interest in how... <laughs> I remember watching this movie. It was... There are so many movies, like, predicting about the future. Most of them, like, uh... 
it's a lie like uh, most of the people think like oh you're gonna be like more developed and she you're gonna be more efficient robots are gonna be like whatever you're gonna be living in paradise that kind of shit but i saw this movie where most of the movies about ai and how ai is gonna end humanity and shit but in this movie i'm talking about like uh, how people got so much addicted to porn <laughs> like after the invention of like vr that everybody like uh was just into VR, like at everybody was thinking about like was sex. Yeah. I remember most of the movie, but I just remember like uh you know saying something like two years two years later, two years into, into the future or something. Like everything, there are no buildings and shit. They're just like ra as it called, rubbles, rambles, whatever. The buildings have been destroyed or something, whatever. I don't know. But my main focus was that people are so got so much addicted to porn or something. Something was so. Also thinking about that, like I remember back in high school, I was I was a nerd. I was a fucking nerdy motherfucker. I remember writing something about like uh I don't I don't remember how it went. It was something like it's twenty it's twenty eighty. My city has been named like one of the most dangerous places on earth. People got so much addicted to porn. That now Jets, I, I don't know, I don't know who's the owner of Pornhub. Jets, the horn, owner of Pornhub, has become the richest motherfucker in the world. Something of the sort. <laughs> Let me see, who's the owner of Pornhub? Let's, let's just, just. Who is the owner? Bernard Boa, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> ah, so the owner of Pornhub is an Austri- Australian British sex offender. <laughs> ah, okay, I don't know. That's kind of crazy. And I told the story about like how I tried to like look for dropping in an, an elevator kind of shit. And they told me that he's like, uh, as it called? Molestation, no molestation, like, uh, how is it called? Sexual harassment. Yeah, that they don't promote sexual harassment on, in Pornhub. Which is kind of crazy, but the owner of Pornhub is a sex offender. I don't know. So that's enough. Almost clocking on how. Let me, let me go take breakfast and then come back. I told you, like, m- man, now I'm, I'm working hard, man. This is like live streaming. I'm going to do this, like, I don't know. I'll have to work hard now. Cause I see myself like I don't know. So one la- last thing, one of the reasons like uh, I'm afraid of quitting college is because I'm afraid I'm afraid of becoming a bum. Yeah, I'm afraid of failing. Let's try. L- let's imagine I try to be a funny motherfucker and it doesn't work out. Nobody thinks I'm a funny motherfucker. Yeah, then I become a bum. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of ending up in the streets. Like the streets, literal streets, like having no money, not being a funny motherfucker, and actually living in the streets. Because I've seen so many, I've seen, I'm seen actors. How's he called? Onyi, that actor. I think he was a funny motherfucker. I used to watch him in like uh, this shit. It was called Hapakule News. I used to watch him like on Real House Helps of Kangware. Kangware, and, and I, I used to see him there. And now he's a broke motherfucker. He's, he's staying at the streets. Yeah? I don't know. So that's it.